creating a space next week for the interior design show um, called an exhibit called How Do You Live? Um, but we're not here to discuss home trends or aesthetics or objects. Um, we're really just here to encourage you and to explore and understand how our experiences and uh, how our connections to our home. Um, so this is a night view of the St. James Town uh, housing complex. There's over 17,000 people who actually live in these complexes. But I think we can probably safely assume that none, no two people in these uh, residences actually live the same way and share the same lifestyle. So how do we determine how they match? Most of us here are involved in the creative industry in some right, and uh, we all have this voyeuristic quality to us and an investigative kind of side to our, tra our trade. Um, this is a view into my neighbor's house. We can, we can peer through the windows and kind of assume what they, how they live, but what can we really gather from their life just based on what we see from the outside? So I walked onto those awesome boxes in the sky one day, and I saw this. Um, so Winder walked through outside the window, and he's probably like the ultimate pervert, because he can look into hundreds of people's houses and see their personal living space, their beds. But honestly, what does he actually know about who we are, or what we do, or how we live? So we gather that how we use and how we see our space is different from how others would view it. This is my parents' house, and on the, the wrong side you just see a door. So to anybody else, it's just a regular door. But when you open the closet on the inside, it's all the markings of me growing up as a kid and, and the growth chart kind of thing. Um, so I guess it just proves that our personal experiences are, and the way we live is more based on our personal connection to our home and not the objects that we have. So what we did, actually, is to find out how people live. Um, we asked people through a questionnaire, people that we know but not really know, wanted to say how they actually live and how, that, um, how that's different from what our perceptions of their lifestyle is. So the first is, my name is Caroline Robbie, and I'm a designer. I own a typically Torontonian Victorian house in South Parkdale. I live with my musician husband, Jeff, and our deranged cats. If my walls could talk, they'd have interesting stories to tell about the generations that have lived here. I live exactly how I want to. My name is Shauna Levy, I'm a co-founder of the Interior Design Show and a mother, wife, and partner. I live at the beaches with my husband, daughter, Jaya, and Labrador. I spend most of the time in our dining room table, which is an uncanny ability to be everything to everyone. If the walls could talk, they'd invite you in for a couple of volleyball in on December 31st, or a veggie burger on the barbecue. I live fully and completely. My name is Emma Reddington, and I'm a designer. I own a 1905 Victorian house in Parkdale. I live with my husband, Miles, my son, Henry, and a daughter on the way. Browsing celebrity gossip sites is something I only do when no one is watching. And if my walls could talk, they'd tell me about all the people who lived here and the changes that they've made to my home. I live contently. My name is Joanna. I'm a photographer and a painter. I rent a house in Hyde Park with, my, with Sam, my talented boyfriend, and Bella, my greyhound slash PFL. Multitasking while brushing my teeth is something I only do when nobody's watching. I usually go to about 11, and the last thing I do is pee, and the first thing I do when I wake up is grow. I live surprisingly. My name is Joan, and I'm aware of many hats. I share a house at the north end of Toronto. I live in a testosterone-filled environment with a variety of sports equipment. Playing the piano with abandonment is something I only do when no one is watching. And if my walls could talk, they would sing. I live fully. My name is Marcus, and I'm a great lover of things. I share an apartment in the annex with my friend Emily, and secretly rearrange things around the house when nobody's watching. I spend most of the time in the living room chatting with friends over a cup of tea, and if my walls could talk, they would speak in panto. I live inspired. <laughs> my name is Julie, and I'm the co-owner of Mielk, a store in the Junction. I live above the shop with my husband John and our cat Aisha, who's become very snuggly since her brother died and passed, just passed away recently. Eating applesauce from the jar is something I only do when no one's watching, and if my walls could talk, they'd say that we should get out more. But really, I'm just a homebody. I live happily. My name is Charlene, and I, live, I own the telephone booth gallery in the Junction with my husband Paul, who had to get a light gun license in case of polar bear attacks in Nunavut. Watching Trailer Park Boys is only something that I only do when nobody's watching. I spend most of the time on the couch with a big mug of tea and a blanket in the sun. If my walls could talk, they say this artwork is gorgeous. I live contently. My name is Ahara, and I'm the founder of Architext. I live in a 108-year-old coach house in West Queen West. When no one's watching, I watch When Harry Met Sally while creating art that I'm not actually sure is that good. I spend most of my time playing boggle with my partner 
And if my walls could talk, they say, man, it's cozy in here. I live well. My name is Julie Chapman, and I'm a designer and a East Coast gal. I rent a house in Bathurst and Dundas with my cat Milo, but there seems to be a pink elephant in here as well. I spend most of the time in bed sleeping, watch movies, and hunkering down for the winter. If my walls could talk, they'd gossip up to the ceiling about how I walk all over the floors. I live in anticipation. My name is Peter Howard, and I rent a house at Dundas in Ossington. I live with an overactive Aussie doodle named Marley and my wonderful partner, Laura. Watching Game of Thrones is something I only do when no one's watching. I usually go to bed at 11, and the last thing I do is read, and the first thing I do when I wake up is take the pooch for a walk. If my walls could talk, they'd hopefully tell my dog, stop chewing the bedding. I live well. My name's Luke, and I'm a single dude. I run a bike repair shop at my place. Singing with extra expression and sometimes in a foreign accent is something I do when nobody's watching. I go to bed at 11, and the last thing I do is shower, and the first thing I do when I wake up is grind coffee beans. If my walls could talk, they would sing along with me, of me in harmony. I live simply. My name is Janine, and I'm a designer slash figure skating prodigy, and apparently full of myself. I live with my roommate, who I never see, and going braless is something I only do when no one's watching. I spend most of my day on the computer planning something for my figure skaters, or dancing. If my walls could talk, they'd say that they're lonely and I should spend more time at home, and I live in the dark. So hopefully a quick glimpse into somebody else's life will show you how to live, or how you live your own life. Thank you. Thank you.